Hey everybody, how's it going out there? Welcome to Tuesday's Facebook Live. Um, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I am back on my regular routine and I am super happy about that. The kids were home for 10 days and that's quite a long time. But I was excited to get back into the studio and start creating and um, getting these Christmas projects done, right you guys? I mean, now that Thanksgiving's over, we are officially in full-time Christmas mode. Hi ladies, I see you guys hopping on. Uh, let me just um, get myself situated. And hello, Christine, Darcy, Gina, Amy, Sandy, thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I appreciate it. Today's project is so cute. Well, I think it's so cute. Um, this week, my focus is this really cute set, the Spirited Snowman. Um, I fell in love with this set as soon as I saw it. And one thing that I really noticed about this set is it's not Christmas specific. Um, the three sentiments in it have nothing really to do with Christmas. Your friendship warms my heart, love never melts, and winter cheer. So these can be used throughout the winter, I think. Um, and what I've done today is make an ornament with non-Christmas colors. Um, now, on Friday, if you guys join me on Friday's Facebook Live, those are going to be more traditional Christmas projects. You know what? This one actually says Happy Christmas, so it is Christmas. It's just not a... Um, in Christmas colors. But this set is definitely one that you can use for Christmas and that you can use for other things. Um, let's see, I wanted to make a little um, list for myself so I don't forget to tell you guys things. I get so excited about our project that I forget to tell you things. Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining. Um, I have a prize, this one right here, Sincerely Santa, I used on last week's Facebook Live, this one right here. I'm gonna give this away to one person who shares the video, um, shares this video. Uh, I will give this away on Friday's Facebook Live. So you guys are over on my Pink Buckaroo Designs page. Um, I have a group page that's just called Pink Buckaroo Stampers Group. And if you join that, you'll be able to see me live on Fridays at two o'clock. And that, um, that Facebook Live, I do three projects. Today we're doing one, Friday we're gonna do three more with, nope, Spirited Snowman. So, just to clarify, sharing this video will get you entered to win the Sincerely Santa. Super cute, and it's a really good one for tags. Um, I also want to point out, you guys hopefully have been seeing my tons of Facebook posts over on my group. Um, today is day one of the third two-day sales, um, starting this morning at 12.01 a.m., uh, Stampin' Up! put their framelits, their tools, their ink, and their Stampin' Blends on sale. And they are on sale for 48 hours, which will be tomorrow, Wednesday night at midnight. Um, so make sure you've checked it out. I've been linking here every couple of hours. I've been uploading some uh, projects for you to see featuring some of those products. So make sure you check them out because the sale has been incredible. Today's sale, I think, is the best of the three. My favorite thing on there today is, and I don't know where I put mine, here it is, the Simply Scored. You guys see me use this all the time if you watch my Facebook Lives. I cannot live without this thing. I love it. So if you haven't ordered this, it's on sale, and I think it would make a great Christmas present. So tell your husband I said he needs to order it for you if you don't have it, okay? Okay, um, so check out the sale. Um, you know, one thing I wanna point out that I'm not sure everybody knows is that those sale items can be added to a starter kit. The starter kit is $99 and you pick out $125 worth of product. Well, those sale items can be added at the sale value to the starter kit. So you kind of get even more bang for your buck. So if your order is over $100, you might want to consider that starter kit. When I'm done with the video, I'll add a link up here at the top of this video so you can click on that and go check it out or you can always just message me and ask me um, any questions you might have about that. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to start. So let me show you what we're making. It's a, oh no, and of course it would just, this little piece just fell off right now. It is a wood slice ornament. Here he is, isn't he so stinking cute? 
Although I made his scarf chevron, so maybe it's a, I mean pink chevron, so maybe it's a she. This looks like something my little girls would have worn when they went, when they were out in the winter. Not that it gets that cold here in South Texas, but that's probably what they would look like. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around so I can show you in more detail. So hold tight with me just a second. You guys around. Um, I'm also going to plug in my microphone. I have to tell you guys a funny story. Well, <laughs> it's not really that funny. I um, got a microphone to help with sound quality. Actually, I am not going to do that today. And last week when I was recording all of my clean recordings of my Facebook Friday projects, I used the microphone and it didn't record any sound. So as I'm editing them, I'm realizing they have no sound. So if you're looking for the clean recordings of last Friday's projects, they're coming. Just be patient. I'm having to record the sound over the video. Yeah, you know, you, you try to make it a little bit easier and it doesn't happen. Anyways, okay, let's get started on this. So the this stamp set, like I was telling you, you could probably see it better now. We've got three little snowman, three different sentiments that are not Christmas specific, um, but we are definitely gonna make a little Christmas ornament. And I also thought that this would make a great um, gift tag too. Just make sure you adhere your, your goodies. A little bit better than I did. Um, we made an ornament out of a wood slice at my retreat and it was really popular. Everybody always loves um, when we make ornaments out of funky things. So I thought, and my friend June, who was at my retreat, inspired me. She put embossing paste all over her wood slice that day to get her things to stick really well. And so I was so excited by that. I thought, you know what, I've got to make an ornament with that embossing paste on it. So that's what we're going to do there in the background. We're going to actually do that first because it's going to take a little while to dry. Um, the other stamp set I needed to point out that I'm using is the Merry Christmas to All, and I'm just using that Christmas right there. We're going to use the Scripty Framelit as well that coordinates with that, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's do our embossing paste first. Now, the wood slices. So I order, I have ordered wood slices in the past from Etsy. Um, you can just type in wood slices. They are guys who have little shops that sell tons of these. They're very... Um, inexpensive, I have found that way. This time when I ordered them, I always um, look to make sure it's somebody local in the United States. And when they came, they arrived from Greece. <laughs> so I don't know who I ordered them from, but they were amazing. They were um, thin sliced, beautifully sanded and smooth. Um, but I used all of those. And so when I made that ornament, I didn't have any more left. So I ran to Michael's where I had gotten them before and they didn't have the right size. So I got on Amazon, you guys, and I ordered this bag this weekend and they came super quick. So you can actually order these little wood slices um, from Amazon and prime shipping. Now I have to say one funny thing about that is my husband, he works for a company that supplies lumber to builders. He works for a wood company. And when I was frantically coming out of Michael's on Saturday night saying there was no more wood slices, he's like, why, why didn't you tell me? I can get you wood slices. Um, but um, this obviously is like, a, you know, a tree trunk. Um, that was sliced really thin and I love my husband dearly, but I'm not sure he could get it as perfect as these. Now, if you have a handy husband and you have some tree logs laying around, you could easily just have these cut um, by your husband or by you um, to use so you don't have to pay for them. I did have to drill the holes. The ones I bought on Etsy did come with the holes, but the ones from Amazon did not. But I just used the drill in the garage and just drilled a hole right there real quick. Okay, so let's talk about the embossing paste. We have three different kinds of embossing paste. Um, and the embossing paste that we are using is the shimmery embossing paste. Um, it's really fun. If you've never used it before, it's like icing. Um, and it dries into just a, um, a soft, it's hard, but it's soft. I don't know how to <laughs> explain it any other than any other way than that. Um, it's like, not hard like cement, but maybe like clay. Um, and it dries pretty quickly. Um, so you have to make sure that you close your, 
your little pot of embossing paste up as soon as you're done and you have to make sure that you clean off your tools now these palette tools are actually on sale right now they're part of the tools sale um three come in a pack we're also going to use uh the silicone mat which is good for all different kinds of things uh but this is also on sale today until tomorrow now i want you to notice that my embossing paste is in a perfect circle and i didn't trust myself to do that by hand so i took my largest circle framelit and i just cut a little circle in some scrap cardstock and i'm going to put it right here now one thing i did notice is that my wood slices are a little bit smaller than the original one but that's okay it's still going to work they're just going to look a little bit different so lay that there on your wood slice and get some of your embossing paste and i like to kind of come in from the top like this and just smooth it all around it's actually really satisfying as my kids would say they say everything is satisfying these days i'm not sure where that comes from but it's very satisfying to smooth it <laughs> around so i'm going to do about two-thirds of it and any marks, any like um, lines like that that is in there right now will be there when it dries. So you want to make sure that you smooth it out the best you can before you're done. Now, I'm going to take a little bit more of that embossing paste and I'm going to come over here and put it on my silicone mat. And I'm going to take this as Coastal Cabana Reinker. And I'm just gonna add one or two drops. One is probably plenty. It just seems like I can never just get one. I always get two. And take your palette knife and just mix it all together. When we were at on stage, they did a beautiful presentation um, where she had made rainbow embossing paste. It was really cool. So um, I was very inspired to pull out my embossing paste and to color it with the, the reinkers. All right, so now that you get it, you've got it all mixed together, come down here and just go across and just work it. I've got a paper towel here that helps as you're working. Just go across there. Ooh, that was good. Just like that until you've got a nice little blend. Now, my problem is, is that I will keep, I will keep doing this. <laughs> It's never quite perfect, perfect enough, and then, I, and then I'll mess it up. So I'm gonna leave it, I think I'm gonna leave it. I like it, I think it looks good. I don't know, wait, a little bit more right here. Like that, that looks pretty good, don't you think? All right, now, let's take this off. Aha, that does look pretty good, doesn't it? Now my hole is off-center, do you guys see that? Mm, that's gonna be a little wonky. Hmm. You know what? Let's fix it. Let's do this. I'm going to take this and put it right back here. Let's look where that hole is. And let's just go across with some more blue. And we'll make that line go right across the center. We'll just have more blue than white, which is okay. Oh, come on. Here we go. See, now I'm just going to start scraping it and scraping it and never get it the way I want it. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now let's see. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to set this aside to dry. This you can use again or you can throw away. This is all going to harden. So just put it somewhere where you're not going to set something on top of it. You also need to immediately clean your tools. Like go to the sink immediately and clean your tools because that stuff hardens and does not come off. And make sure that you close your little pot up real tight. And then this, luckily, the silicone sheet, um, you can just peel it all off when it's done. That's the, the beauty of the silicone sheet. All right, now while that's drying, let's do our cute little snowman, okay? I wanna make sure I don't put my... <laughs> <laughs> my stuff in the wet embossing paste all right now like I said we're gonna color him in with Stampin' Blends I'm sorry you guys I've got my 
arm there. Thanks, Holly. Yeah, you know, I would say 50% of the time I have to fix something. <laughs> I don't get things perfect very much. I think 50% of the time would probably be generous. Okay, we're going to stamp him on Thick Whisper White. I like to use my blends on Thick Whisper White, and I am using my Memento Black. You want to use the Memento ink when you are stamping with your blends because it is water-based. And I'm going to pull up a chair because I cannot color while I'm standing up. It's very difficult. So I'm going to have to sit down so I don't totally get out of the lines. Now we're going to use both of the Melon Mambos and both of the Highland Heathers. We're gonna use Dark Pumpkin Pie for his nose. There's our color lifter, just in case. And then we needed, oh, I'm gonna use Light Pool Party um, for some shadow. All right, let's start. I need to look at my sample so I can remember how I colored him. Let's start with his scarf. I'm gonna use the bullet tip, the bullet end of this marker. I prefer the bullet end. It's really a matter of preference, you guys. I know some people prefer the brush tip, and I do use the brush tip some, but I just really feel like I have better control when I'm using the bullet tip. I'm gonna go over this scarf completely in the light, the light um, melon mambo. Then I'm going to take my dark and very carefully, and I'm sorry if you guys see the top of my head, I have discovered in the last few weeks that I think I might need glasses. I'm starting to really have trouble seeing these tiny lines, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to accommodate that for as, as long as I can without those glasses but I know it's coming. All right, so every other line, and I know it's hard for you guys to see so far away. Every other line, um, dark and light, dark and light. Um, so I did light all the way around first, and then I did the dark filling in. I'm not even looking at y'all's comments. I need to move you over here so I can see you. Like my color choices, thank you. All right, while I still have my markers open, I'm gonna use my dark Melon Mambo right here and right here and the little tassels there. I'm also going to do every other button in dark Melon Mambo. Now the reason I left this open is because usually I'm going back and forth blending, which we are going to do now with the Highland Heather. I'm going to take the light Highland Heather and color it in. There's a line here that we're gonna come back to with the dark in a minute, but I'm just gonna do a whole coating of the hat and the little tassel with the light. Now let me take my dark and do that line right there and that line right there. Um, let's see, did I do, I did do some blending. I'm gonna take the dark and run it underneath that line and that line along the bottom of his hat. Then I'm gonna take the light Highland Heather and blend it up. Now if you haven't gotten all the blends, now's a really good time because they all are, they are all on sale. Um, I know that I this morning ordered a few that I have actually used quite a ton of. So cute. Um, let's go back down here with the light Highland Heather for his little um, ice skate. But this is a good time. We have in the holiday catalog, I believe we added six new colors. And in the annual catalog, we, we had added quite a few as well. So it's a good time. These would make great stocking stuffers. They are $4.50 each. Now I'm gonna take, I took that dark and went around the bottom of his shoe. Now I'm gonna take the light and just blend it up. I'm gonna take my color lifter and do just a little bit on his top of his ice skate there. 
Oh, Janet, some cheap readers. I know. I know. I have looked at them as I walk by them in Walmart. I know. I don't want to. I actually have had some before here at the house, and I just didn't use them. All right. Pumpkin pie nose. I know it's hard for you guys to see. Hopefully, you can see that. Now, that's beautiful, but... I'm gonna take some of the pool party and I'm just going to add the light pool party anywhere where there would be a shadow, um, kind of around the back and around the, the bottom of each circle and then where one circle overlaps the other and I am using the brush tip here. I'm gonna go under his hat and down here by the scarf I just thought that that added a little more depth for our snowman. Now I have forgotten a few things. Uh-oh, whoa-oh, sorry about that. I hit the cord that hit the camera. It was a chain reaction. I'm gonna take my crumb cake dark and color his little arm. Like that. Oh, and his little ankles down here. <laughs> And then let's take Smoky Slate and do those little blades at the bottom. All right, he's ready. He's so cute. Now he does not have a framelit, so we're gonna have to go and fussy cut, which let me grab my little scissors. When I fussy cut, I like to cut off the excess. This has quite a bit of excess cardstock. So I'm gonna cut all this excess cardstock off. And then I'm going to very carefully go around leaving a little white cloud, just like I did with my kindergartners back in the day when I taught kindergarten and we would cut things out. I would say, go around the outside and leave a little cloud around the black line because your eye is only going to see that black line. Your eye is not gonna see the little cloud around it. And if that cloud is jiggity jaggedy because your hand isn't steady, it's gonna be okay because nobody's gonna notice that. So go all the way around. Notice I am turning the snowman with my left hand. I'm not really turning my scissors kind of rotating this and I'm going just around. He is a little bit tedious, but he is worth it. Let's see. No snowmen for us here in South Texas. I know those of you up in the north northern part of the United States right now probably have some snowmen. My kids would die to build a snowman. They would love it. We had snow last year for the first time in forever, probably since I was a little girl, and they thought they had died and gone to heaven. It only lasted about 12 hours overnight, melted while they were at school, but they did their best to build a little tiny snowman, so they think they're, they're snow experts now, and now they expect it to snow every year, even though it only snows about once every 30 years, it seems like. <laughs> All right, there we go, he is done, very cute. Let's do the other parts now. Like I mentioned, I am cutting out, let me make some room, I'm sorry you guys. I am using these little Christmas framelits right here, which are at the very front of your catalog. And I have it set out to show you. The very front, page four they are it's this set right here with these framelits merry christmas thinlets and i'm gonna cut out the merry nope i'm gonna cut out the happy in gorgeous great and because it's so skinny and little um i wanted to kind of thicken it up um so i'm actually going to cut it out three or four times and stack them up so it looks kind of like chipboard um, to make that a little bit easier, I'm using a multi-purpose adhesive sheet, and you just peel it back. I'm just going to cut one right now. I've actually already cut the other ones, but you would put as much of your cardstock, however much you need, you put it in here, and this is what I do to just kind of save on my adhesive. Um, then I go and I just cut it out of this. It makes it kind of like a sticker sheet, 
And guess what? They're on sale today, the multi-purpose adhesive sheets. If you haven't gotten them yet, you really should. Um, they're great. I use them a lot. The only problem with them is that I can't remember to use them until it's too late, till I've already cut the, the, the word out. And then it's too late. But if you remember to cut it out or to put the multi-purpose adhesive sheet on it before you, I've got a few little hang-ons on, hang here. If you remember to put that adhesive sheet on the back of your cardstock before you run it through the Big Shot, it is going to be so much better because then you just have a sticker and you don't have to worry about that liquid adhesive, which I make a mess of, or, you know, trying to get the glue dots so they don't show. All right, so here we go. I've got, I think I did four on mine, but I'm just gonna do three um, for the sake of time. And I've done all of them with the adhesive on the back. And you just peel off that sticker like this. And you're gonna line them up like this, right on top of each other. And this is gonna make your word much thicker and it's going to look like chipboard, like you've cut it from chipboard. And I thought on something like this, an ornament that's going to be around for a long time, it would be good to have something a little more sturdy because these words are kind of dainty. Thanks for sharing, Missy, I appreciate it. Hi, Betty, glad you found me. All right, so you could do, I did four on my ornament there, but for Facebook, just for the video, I'm gonna do three. You could do more if you wanted it even thicker. You just line them up and pinch them. There we go, and now it's just thick. It's like really thick. All right, now we're gonna get a little piece of um, Melon Mambo Designer Series paper from the Bright Stack. And then I'm gonna stamp that Christmas word, the one I told you at the beginning that's from the Merry Christmas to All stamp, stamp set. And I'm gonna stamp that in Melon Mambo on a skinny piece of Whisper White. And I'm just gonna trim it like this at an angle. Now I'm gonna use these snowflakes which guys are gonna be gone for good on Friday. These are part of the snow um, promotion that we've had all during November, and they're gonna be gone in November. I really have enjoyed these little embellishments. Gonna put that there with a glue dot, and then we'll pop this one up with a dimensional. There we go, like that, overlapping just a little bit. All right, I think we're ready to put it all together. Thanks, Susan. I bet you have snowman in Minnesota. Yep, it's dry, very cool. All right, now, one thing that we could have done if we had time, I mentioned to you that my friend June put embossing paste on hers to stick all her elements on. So we could have done this and then quickly stuck everything on here like that. And it would have really hold, held everything together. But I didn't do that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of liquid glue and put these guys down like this. Now, where did our little snowman go? Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be funny if I couldn't find it? <laughs> funny, I don't know if that's the word I would describe it. Um, and we're going to, let's see how we wanna place him, just like that. All right, now this has that sticker still on the back of it. So we can, and I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, how long that adhesive would stay. So if this is an ornament that's gonna go in your attic, and come out to the tree every year, you probably would wanna use something a little better on the very last layer there. All right, now I'm gonna put dimensionals on Mr. Snowman. Thanks, I'm glad you guys like, aw, you're so sweet. Don't worry, Nina, you can watch the replay. Hi, Vicki, my, my new friend, Vicki. All right, there we go, we've got him there. All right, so it's a little bit different, you can see because of the shape of the, you know what, hold please. This is annoying me and I don't know why it's not sticking. 
there we go. You can see I kind of, because this little um, tree slice is smaller, I had to kind of do it a little bit differently, but that's okay, it still works. Um, let's do the ribbon. Anita said, I saw you on there, Anita. I saw you say, where is that, that polka dot ribbon bin? I have to show you. It's beautiful. First, we're gonna do the grape, gorgeous grape mini stripe ribbon, which I'm gonna feed through here if my fingers will work correctly. And just make a loop and tie it at the top with a knot. Have you guys put up your Christmas trees? Ours is up, although I just couldn't get into the mood. I don't know, I just didn't wanna put it up, but my kids were begging, so we put it up. But everything else is still in boxes. I haven't taken, whoops, I haven't taken the time to go through all of it. It just seems like a lot of work. I used to love doing that. I don't know what's happened to me in my old age. All right, here's the polka dot ribbon. This is called Tool Polka Dot Ribbon. It comes in Whisper White and very vanilla. And I added that. I felt like it was very wintry, snowman-ish, if there is such a thing. But I thought it was a nice little addition here to the wood and the snow and the glitter. All right, so I'm just gonna tie that together right there. And then we're done. I think this is so fun. And these would make great, like I said, gift tags. Um, you know, you could put this, make these for some really special gifts. You could do, you know, different colors. You can dye that embossing paste any color. Use any reinker, and you can make it match whatever your, your present, your wrapping paper. <laughs> this one will not stay, there we go. Um, and there we go. So embossing paste, you guys, I love it. Don't be scared of it, it dries very quickly. Please remember that inks are on sale. If you get anything today or tomorrow in the sale, I think you need to get some Stampin' Blend. They're so lovely, I just love them. They color, they make you look like a professional artist, even though you're not. Believe me, guys, I am not. It doesn't leave these, streaker, these uh, marker streaky marks. They're great, so, and they're 450 each, which, you know, is a very reasonably priced alcohol mark marker. Um, so your ink is on sale, the tools are on sale, framelits from the annual catalog, which would include the circle, the layering circles, um, as well as that Simply Scored, so make sure you check it out uh, before time runs out or before uh, inventory runs out because there's only a certain amount of inventory for each product. All right, you guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you will join my Facebook group. I'll put a link at the top. If you haven't joined already, I will be there on Friday at the same time, two o'clock with three more uh, Spirited Snowman projects. And if you would be so kind as to share this video, I will put you in a drawing to win, I don't even know where it went, here it is, to win the Sincerely Santa stamp set. All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions. This will be up on my blog. It should be right now. If you need details or product information, um, hop over to my blog. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you guys on Friday. Thank you, bye.